ಬಂದೇಹಂ The following is a conversation with his divine grace AC Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada recorded on the 1st of May 1976 in Fiji living entities in this conditional world are my eternal fragmental parts. Due to conditioned life, they are struggling very hard with the six senses, which include the mind. So, with this instrument, he is manipulating this machine. As exactly the pilot, with so many electronic machines, is working, the flying of the pilot. Where is the difficulty to understand? This body is a machine. Brahma and Sarvabhu, Brahma, wandering. The airplane is wandering. This machine is wandering. It is also going up. Uddhanga, Chandi, Sattvastha, sometimes up, sometimes down. Find out this. Same airplane going up and down. Twins, this, and Urdvam gashchanti sattvastha maje tishnanti rajasa jaghanya guna vritishta adho gachanti tamasa Those situated in the mode of goodness gradually go upward to the higher planets. Those in the mode of passion live on the earthly planets and those in the mode of ignorance go down to the hellish world. So the same thing, if the pilot is not expert, he goes down to the nose range adho gachanti And the pilot is third class, so instead of going up, he goes down and everything is fine. Mm-hmm. So everything on the pilot. The machine is not important. The machine can go up. If the pilot knows how to do it, and the machine can go down. Actually it is happening. There's a landing point. It's very dangerous. If the pilot cannot handle very fast, immediately he smashed. That takes place while going up and coming down, generally. That is due to mismanagement of the pilot. When in the sky it is at regular speed and balance, it is going nicely. There is no crisis. All crises take place while coming down and going up, leaving the land and coming down. I have seen sometimes they clap as soon as they... <laughs> the danger is over. So good song, another one. But this is still the life. So in this way you have to place the subject matter that the living entity, the soul, is the important thing within this body. Because he is struggling on account of his ignorance. He is struggling. Manasasthani Indriyani, Prakritisthani Kapsit. This is his position. You mentioned earlier that uh, not only we have to find out who is the speaker, But who is the proper person to hear the subject matter? Well, if somebody is interested to know what is the important thing, then he can understand this. And if he is animal, simply eating, sleeping, meeting, what he will understand? Animal is not interested to know how the world is going on. He gets his food and sex, that's all. That is animal property. And as soon as he comes to the human platform, then inquisitive. He's not interested. 
how is I develop my economic position? He has left already. Very high grade economic position. He is not interested. He is interested to have any kind of money, capital. Actually, what is my position? Why I am suffering in this material life? That is human life. Arjuna has also many questions. Karpanna dosa, Karpanna dosa. It was my duty to understand myself. And I am thinking of my this nonsense is a thing. My grandfather, my son, what is it? I know that. What I can do by thinking about them? Maybe, maybe they have come to war. I suppose they would have died naturally. What can he do? So I am perplexed with this thing. I know the defect. I cannot cause their death or birth or existence. It is beyond my jurisdiction. And you still have anxiety. If I kill them, then I will kill them. You kill or not kill? He is the only kill. Today and tomorrow. Vatasun, avatasun, sa, nanusu, tenti, vandi. Lad and man knows that the body will be finished, the bodily action. Today and tomorrow. So what is to lament after this body? Lamentation is there. The person within the body, whether he is going to hell or heaven, urdhangachanti or tamagachanti, that is the real concern. What will you finish? Today or tomorrow or after hundred years? Who can protect it? But one should be interested with the owner of the body, where he is going. What is his next position? That is clearly said. Adogachandi Tamasa. Uddhangachand Sattva. So you are interested to go up or down. Or remain in the same state. There are three states. Up, down, and the same. General mass of people think that life is finished with this body. They are unaware of up or down. That for the rascals. And for the rascals, the Bhagavad Gita teaching is there. Learn. They are giving this stress on the body. Their body is finished everything. They do not know. Beyond the body. But the real knowledge being as law, you are beyond this body. That is real knowledge. That is the beginning of knowledge. Any other knowledge except this, that is ignorance, that is not knowledge. They are accepting ignorance as knowledge. Yes. That is the defect. Therefore, Krishna consciousness movement is so essential. They are accepting ignorance as knowledge. That in theory is simply speculation on ignorance. And it has been taken as knowledge. Pride philosophy is the business of the hogs and dogs, and it has been taken as philosophy. Even the hogs and dogs know how to enjoy sex life. And they are on account of sex life, they have written a philosophy. Is the philosophy. Tattagyanatha darshanam. I know. The thirteen chapter. Amanittam madambittam. Ahinsha thandiya. Thirteen chapter. Tattagyanatha darshanam. Adhyatma jnanam nityatvam tattagyanartam darshanam. Itas jnanam iti proktam. Ajnanam yad ato anam yad. These rascals, they are in Ajnanam, huh? dealing with sex life, dealing with the body, and their philosophy. Right? Dealing with the body, and dealing with sex life, and the animal business, and they are passing on as philosophers, scientists. This is your position, the whole world. So how much Krishna consciousness is important, this thing? 
The goal of knowledge is not there. They do not know any animals. They are present animals. So the dogs will understand. When there is one lady dog there, one dozen dog will come. He's smelling the best part of this body. <laughs> this is the pleasure. The pride is that. Best part of the body is writing pillar. <laughs> and books and books. <laughs> this is the position. How low test hogs and pigs business and pillar. His books are like that. You mentioned Srila Prabhupada that if someone can understand that they're not this body, then immediately he should be able to understand that there's a super soul. Yes, that I have already told you so. That it is very essential to understand. So the approach used by Krishna is essential for any person who wants to understand the super soul. Hmm? Someone in material consciousness cannot understand God. So then what of all these religions, for example, uh, Muslim and Christian religion, uh, generally speaking, they don't even accept the existence of soul. That was then not a million. That's so simply they're talking about God. Yeah. I'm telling there is no religion. In the name of religion, some parts is going on. That's a fact. You said in the past, devil citing scripture. Yeah. The eating meat. They have no even human sense. What is their religion? They have no even sense that I am cutting throat of a poor animal under my protection. If somebody cuts my throat, how much I am unhappy. And I am doing the same business. And I am a human being. How can I call myself a human? I have no sense in of compassion. Axe and dogs are passing on as religion. Some hogs and pigs are going on pillars of And other animals is going as scientists, diving. They are animals only, cats and dogs. They are the leader of the society. How we can expect any benefits from it? The leaders themselves are cats and dogs, pigs. Sami river house, chakkare, sound, shoot, a puru, jappasu. These leaders, their sound is true to them. They very much worship. By whom? Sami river house, chakkare. By the dogs, by the pigs, by the Savirivara, Kalen, and by the ass. This is this particular dance I have explained in this Bhagavad. Suppose one man has become liar and he is praised by dogs, cavens, asses, and pigs. Naturally, they pray, God, oh, son, you are the king. <laughs> Does it mean he's king? He's animal. <laughs> so it is going on. They are electing a big animal as president. And when he begins to eat animal, big animal, then they protest. Oh, no, he is not proper president. Get him now, get him now. But why are you sensing? Because we are pigs, we have no other knowledge. We another appoint another big pig as our president. Everything is explained in the basic literature if you can present them properly. It will act. The voters are somebody for a house to call. <laughs> and the basis and is another big animal, that's all. This is transaction of animal kingdom. A lion is the king of some asses, pigs, dogs, and hogs. 
or do, what business you can expect there. <laughs> this is the real picture. One who is a human being, he sees how the animals are enjoying by voting and electing president. But they are thinking we are busy in a very bad business, we are electing president. Mm. <laughs> this is right. And he's saying that <laughs> these astral pigs of the electric president and this president will eat them and they will understand what kind of president we have elected. This thing is happening in the most advanced country of USA and what to ask with of other animal kingdoms. Even the topmost state at the present moment, they are also the happening the same thing. And what to speak of other small states. If Bhakti Yoga is the um, uh, one can only understand Krishna through Bhakti Yoga, why did Krishna bother to explain Karma Yoga and Gani Yoga to so many? Because they are third class men, fourth class men. They cannot understand Bhakti Yoga immediately. But at last he says, Sarvadhan Mahaprabhu, if you are intelligent. Sarvabhuyyatam, real knowledge is here. Sarvabhuyyatam. But he is proposing at last, if by understanding all other ways, if he has come to know what is the actual knowledge, that is the most confidential knowledge. That is not for everyone. How one can give up karma yoga, dhyana yoga, dhyana yoga? They cannot. But Krishna says this is the most confidence. If we accept this, that is to understand. We have knowledge. It is not for everyone. I know this. Verse 63, 18 chapter, I think. So take these notes, take these books and preach. Mm. You have taken out some nasty preach. Sarva Guyatamam Bhuya, Shrinu me Paramam Bacha, Ishtosi me Dridham Iti, Tato Bhakshyami Te Hitam. Because you are my very dear friend, I am speaking to you. It is to be spoken to the most confidential person. You are my dear friend, I am talking. Mm. The other rascals will not understand. And especially for Arjun, not for the common man. I am speaking to you the, this most confidential part of knowledge. Mm. Hear this from me, for it is for your benefit. That is a special fancy and a special love. So I give you this. If it comes, this is real. Other rascals will not bear this. They will protest, huh? I say, surrender to this one. So what is that confidential? Man marabhava man pata. Saradhan man purita. So he had spoken of so many other things for other rascals. But you are my friend, very intimate, I tell you. This is your path. So fact is fact. If you take earlier or later, that is the one thing. You have to come. Go down, one has to take many parts. <laughs> 